you go up, it shouldn't, it should stop at the train. Oh god, no, nope, we're pushing <laughs> each other. Oh god. Oh, oh no, no, don't go down. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another day on the Vervain's Arcadia SMP. I was going to start out this episode by uh, talking about how this is my first time playing on hard mode, and I haven't died yet in episode 5. But as you can see, I have had my first death. In between working on the last episode and this one, I was hopping across the nether roof and accidentally looked an enderman in the face. I had nowhere to hide. It was a good time. Anyways, I'm so proud of myself for making it this far. As you can see, I have almost 48 hours on the server, and the death was 46 hours into this, so I'm pretty proud of that. Anyways, I uh, found this mine shaft when looking for our lush cave, and I didn't even walk out this far because I was scared of a mine shaft, and apparently it leads into this beautiful, beautiful lush cave. So that's really cool, but I'm here today to do a little bit more of the mine shaft exploring. This is a double spider spawner. Look at it. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't want to break him, obviously. Okay. Oh gosh, he poisoned me. Gosh, gosh, gosh. No, 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 no. You don't get to do that. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, well, even if the mine shaft was a bit of a bust, this is a very pretty little cave here. Not a single minecart chest thing. That's sad. We still got some good good loot overall. Now as we head home, you may have noticed that I have a full set of diamond armor now. I did some trading in my time between episodes and got that all traded up. So let's take a little look at what that looked like right now. Okay, I have been here trading up some villagers, and I have emeralds basically coming out of my ears now. Look at this. Anyways, it is time. It is time for us to fill up our arsenal of diamond gear. Now, this is our only armorer, but we already have our boots. Ooh, thorns. Okay, I think I'm going to have two protection four pieces of armor and then probably blast protection on something as well another thing that I accomplished in my between sessions time was getting these frogs the nearest mangrove swamp is like 8,000 blocks from the farthest out portal that direction. So I boated quite a long way to get these guys, and we have eight right now, and I need to breed up a few more and get some in a warm area, and then I might make a frog light farm. The only frog lights available in the shopping district were at the farmer's market. And they're all sold out uh, with no sign of being restocked. So I'm kind of thinking that we might start working on a store of our own soon. Speaking of building, I've been doing some planning via the Dynamap that we have for the server on where I'm going to be building some things. And I've decided that I think this area is going to be perfect for our gold dredge, which is going to be our storage system. <gasps> Snow! Our chest monster is growing, so we definitely need to get that built before anything else. I love that this area is the intersection of like three, four, five different biomes. I don't even know. It's a lot, but it's really cool. And I, I love that. I'm unfortunately going to have to take this ice pillar down. So I guess that's our first order of business. Well, that was the most satisfying mining I've ever done. 
Well, I just came back over to grab some more materials and look who came over to say hi. Can we can we make friends? Oh. The unfortunate news is that I don't have a saddle. I was trying to get a saddle in that mine shaft, but you know, here we are. You know, I just realized we're gonna need a place to put all our animals that is not, you know, our front yard. Anyways, here's how it's looking right now. Um, despite the fact that it's a fairly square-shaped object, there's a lot of, uh, layers going on inside and out that are just making it a little bit of a, I don't know. I'm really having to think through the design as I go. Okay, well, I'm quite happy with how this is shaping up for sure. Um, we still have the big, like, scoopy bits to add to the exterior, but inside I've also added a starting amount of storage anyways, um, along with just some interior decorating kind of reminiscent of what what the dredge I worked on looked like inside. <laughs> I am a pirate. Well, hello. I am, I am, I have traveled far away in my mighty ship. <laughs> Definitely a mighty very, ship. Very mighty, very I, mighty. I'm with my very mighty ship, and I am here <laughs> to plunder you. Oh. From your... Well, I have a lot of andesite to offer. <laughs> that will be... That will be a great, great, great pl plundering. <laughs> the, best, the best plundering I've gotten so far, actually. <laughs> well... I can offer you 12 andesite and 24 polished. That will be a great plundering. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. You, you, you're you, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, are you in need of anything? Um, I'm not. Mm, I'm not sure at the moment. I'm pretty good, but um. I'm literally putting storage together right now, so I'll take I'll know a lot more. Oh, well. Take one of the stuffies. Um, Thank you. It's not named. <laughs> They're so Wait, weird. Stop, stop running away from me. That's what you get for running away from me. I'm not going to question. <laughs> All right. Good. Well. <laughs> Good luck on your adventures. And thank you. Thank you. If you need any electrodes, you know where to be. Yeah, I do. Or shulkers. Yes, I, I, I'm definitely please, planning a trip back. <laughs> for shulkers. Buy some stuff for my shop. I definitely I'm will be. <laughs> All right, I, I kind of oh. cut you off there by going through the, through the <laughs> teleport. It what, happens. Did you, what do you want to say? <laughs> oh, I will definitely be back for shulkers. Yay, and, more money for me. Yes, possibly an extra elytra. We'll see. I'm not rich yet, by any means. Take these. Oh, I don't an investment. Things. All right, <laughs> I it can I can respect piece. that. <laughs> all right, all right. I kind oh, I kind of oh, oh. cut you off again. Um, <laughs> oh. um I, so um, what do you want to say? I just said thanks for stopping by. Oh yeah, no problem. Um, remember though, I am still. Wait, what is my? There's my boat. Uh, <laughs> Arr, me hearty. I am a dangerous pirate. Thank you, thank you. Arr. I don't know. I don't even know if this works. I don't think this is working. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is this is disappointing. I'll do it like that. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Well, I freaked out for a moment, forgetting about the uh, proximity chat that we have on. But that was a pleasant visit. All in all, a most pleasant pirate. Anyways, as I was about to say, um, we have our finished gold dredge here. Um, we've got our buckets. So the way, so the way a gold dredge works, if you didn't know, <laughs> the way a gold dredge works is it basically uses water and scoops that up, scoops up buckets of sludge. Well, it's mostly gravel usually. Um, and so it has this bucket chain going up and then it brings it inside. Um, it's kind of like, it, 
trying to think exactly how it works with like being propelled in the water. Uh, this arm will lower when it's actually um, working and going. All, all the gold dredges in Alaska are defunct at this point. Um, they no longer work and are just abandoned by the side of the road quite often. Um, anyways, so the arm would, like, come through here and dump sludge into this, the central area where it gets, um, shaken through and washed through with water. Gold is incredibly heavy. It's, uh, what's, it's about 18 times heavier than lead. So it sinks down real fast. Um, and goes through to the bottom and then the what we call the tailings, the bits of gravel and rock and everything that's been sorted through, comes through the pipe in the back and pours out the back. So um, when you find a gold dredge hanging around, it will usually have a pile of tailings here. Um, and we don't have that currently. <laughs> um, I might build that up just for accuracy's sake. But yeah, that's, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with uh, my ability to recreate a gold dredge here. I wasn't, I didn't have super high expectations. I guess the next thing to do is storage, actually moving the storage. I think before we move our storage, we should go pay Amy's shop a visit and use these diamonds that she's given us. After all, using shulkers is gonna make moving our storage so much easier. Okay, well, I have a decision to make because I do want a backup elytra. But that's, that's a lot of diamonds. I think I'm gonna go for more shulkers right now because they will help me get my life organized. I think 15 shulker boxes should be good to get me going. Now I have a nice system with all the colors of shulker boxes, including the original. Okay, I guess one of the things that I need to figure out is how I'm organizing. How I'm organizing the sections of this thing. I'm thinking down here, of course, the easiest access should be, you know, things that I use for building frequently, stuff like that. Um, so maybe stone in these, um, different types of stone in single chests, some deep slate maybe in like this set, kind of thinking that's going to be the ticket. Did I, did I scare you? Uh, is my voice on? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, mildly, yes. <laughs> no, I, I'll take that as a mission failed. <laughs> Why did I have to start drowning? That kind of ruined it. <laughs> yeah, enough. a little bit. Yes, you, do you, do you um, happen to have any back pains? Back pains? Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, I mean, yes, but <laughs> that's pretty normal for me. I have a, well, I have a, I have a great solution for. Back yeah. Pains. Well, I'd if love to would, hear it. <laughs> Sorry, I keep uh, running around. <laughs> if you would like to follow me to my uh, base. There yeah, is, uh, let me dump. Let me dump some of this stuff. My old base, actually. My new base doesn't have it yet, but... Where did I put gravel? Oh my gosh. This uh... is what happens when everything gets too neat. You don't know where <laughs> you keep stuff in store, so if you just... Oh, it's over with the sand. Splash it down wherever... <laughs> so if you just throw it wherever <laughs> is empty, you can... You'll find it you after can... a few cycles through a chest. I'm curious if this still works. Have you tried this? I this haven't you... because it said don't touch. I want to, but... <laughs> does it say don't touch? What does it say don't touch? Oh, there... no touchy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I think it says no touchy for the book. Wait, let me ask Sally. Sally, is <laughs> the... Mine... 
card being on the room safe to use. All right. I'm See, excited. I'm <laughs> no, don't take don't take any. Leave them in. Leave them oh. in. Oh. Oh, they, um, oh my you gosh. Go sit, you, you sit in the minecart and then you right click the note block. Okay. Are we going okay, all the sure. way back towards spawn? Yep. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's so fast, I'm really loud. <laughs> it is. This is incredible. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new favorite thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's incredible! Well, you're, lucky. you're lucky that it that it ends up basically at your portal. Yeah. Um, okay. So well, to, I've never traveled. To it. It. <laughs> this is this is my base or old base. This is this is Hipsburg. This is super pretty. And that's my castle. Over <gasps> there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How long did this all, like, take? About half a year for the entire thing. There is a lot more than you can see from here. My goodness. <laughs> don't, don't look in here. There's no... There's no uh, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> so so you're just going to take the extra, the extra weight that's causing the issues? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It works. 100% of the time, I just disconnect mm -hmm. the nerves from your back and mm -hmm. your head, and that way you will never feel back pain again. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, you just you just uh, yes. set your spawn point yes. here, just in case, you know, you never know what happens. Never know. And you put all your stuff in this chest, just in case. So you, you stand right there. Okay. And then I do that, and then you move forward a bit. Stop! Oh! Oh! Too far! Too far! Too far! This this always happens. You move forward, and then you hit me so that you're aligned. Oh! Too much. <laughs> I am skilled That's at this. Cute. Okay, now you're aligned correctly. Anyways, so um, you have you're experiencing back pains, right? Yes. Yes. yes I just I need am. to confirm this real quick. And you would like your back pains to go away, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Perfect. 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 <laughs> Oh gosh! <laughs> hey, that's that's the first death I have on video now. <laughs> Wait, did you get my head from that? No, no. Sadly, you oh. don't get the heads from that. So I might have to murder you again if that's okay. Oh well, yes. Here, <laughs> have a murder. Do it. Oh. Bang! Oh gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a head dungeon? Is that what this is all about? I I have no idea what you're talking about. So you look inside. <laughs> oh gosh, very nice. Uh, yeah, that's my that's my starter house. I don't know if I have any more. Yes, <laughs> there's still one spot. There's still one oh, spot my goodness. right there. That is uh, probably one of the prettiest views of the castle from down oh, here. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I love it. Yeah, that's basically my base. Very nice. Um, except for the mining area, but we're not gonna. <laughs> if you go up, it shouldn't. It should stop at the train. Oh god! No, nope, we're pushing each other. Oh god! Oh, oh no! Don't go down! Oh god! Where are you going? <laughs> no! <laughs> god, I got it. Oh Jesus. my gosh! Well, that was a pleasant visit. I keep using the word pleasant. It was very fun. I. Also, really love this rail. This knowing that I can use this is gonna make going back and forth between spawn so much easier. It's so close to my base. That's so cute. <gasps> okay, so my shop concept that I have is gonna have like big giant flowers outside of it. This would be a perfect spot to put it, like underneath. Oh, honey, I'm not sure who owns Oh, honey, but I'll. Definitely talk to them about it. Anyways, I checked with Amy and she said we can grab powder snow at her base. So, we're gonna go fill up all the buckets. Okay, so we've got a bunch of powdered snow just right out here even. We're just gonna fill up three shulker boxes. I think that should be enough. Oh! 
Uh, hey, you don't get to hit me and run away. <laughs> run. Go, my go. go, 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 go. Oh, God, there's a, there's a, there's a hole there. I'm going to finish putting the rails on and recycle some from the frog railroad. But... Mm -hmm. I'm going to put honey blocks up next. Then it's time for powdered snow. <laughs> Where are these portals? So that I only just found when I came back over here. And it goes down to deep dark. So that's cool. It looks like someone's like mining... It looks like someone's mining area. There's nothing built above ground, so I was like, eh, I think There's it's safe to like. Here. Oh, is there? Wow, I'm oh. very unobservant. Is this where? I didn't. Let me go through. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. You don't want to go through there. There's, <laughs> a, there's a there's a there's a woodland mansion out there, and Ooh. it's scary. Oh, yeah, that does sound scary. We got one more. Wait, one more? Eh, that's it. I'm out. Oh no. Did I? <laughs> no. No, there there has to be. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, that's a big old magma cube. Uh. He's not supposed to be able to spawn. Where was he spawning from? Excuse. Oh my gosh, why are you guys like this? Come on. Up the stairs, come on. Well, I just finished up our frog light farm here and I heard our first magma cube. Let's like pillar up out here just a little bit. See if we can see what's going on. Yeah. So they come towards the golems they die in the powdered snow or by the hands of the golems. Um, they drop magma, magma cubes, or ma magma cream, not cubes. Um, and then they get eaten up by our frogs. I think the frogs take a little bit longer to move around just because of the honey blocks, which is designed to keep them from jumping, but there they go. There they go. Um, instead of using hoppers with the honey blocks over the top, which maybe I should have, um, I used three mine carts instead of the nine that are used in this design. Um, we could have used hoppers underneath the honey blocks. I still kind of feel like maybe I should just do that anyways I don't know all right so obviously that wasn't like a full AFK distance but that was half an hour of waiting so, not as many as I would like to see, but again, finding the correct AFK distance will make a difference. Whoa! Freaks me out every time. Okay, well, I AFK'd overnight. Um, not fully overnight, but like for a few hours last night at our frog light farm and we got a bunch of frog lights. I only brought about half of them over, but we have the first iteration of our shop on the server. Um, frog lights I decided are going to be a diamond per stack. That's what they were going for at the farmer's market where they have not been restocked in a very long time. Um, and then magma cream for a diamond for 48 um, it's a little more scarce and it's also not something that's needed as much. It's mostly just a potion ingredient, I think. I also, kind of on a whim, decided to add mini blocks. I have been wanting to, you know, collect and sell mini blocks. Unfortunately, I've only met the one wandering trader, so, um, I don't have a ton. 
but I decided to stick them in here. I priced them at any four for a diamond. Let me know what you think of that price because um, I have no idea. We also put a little bit of a pond around the water stream going up to Oh Honey. Uh, I talked to the owner of Oh Honey and she's happy for me to build enchanting grounds underneath, which is, I think, perfect because it's going to have giant flowers that are going to go really nicely with her bees. I wasn't going to build a shop this early, but uh, people were needing frog lights. So I was like, I can build a farm in not too much time. Why not? Before we go, I want to take a ride up to the shulker head. I heard tell that there may be something up here. Aha! Oh. Um, okay, I feel like I may have stumbled upon something I was not supposed to. Let's pretend we never saw that. According to the intel that I heard, this used to be the headquarters of some secret society on the server, but it has since been moved, so eh, that's a fun little thing to find. Okay, well. We have accomplished a lot of things this episode. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you to everybody on the server who hung out in some capacity or another on camera or off. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like and consider subscribing. I will see you guys around for the next one. Bye!